Hi, Scott Saywell here, Superintendent in Nanaimo Ladysmith Public Schools. I wanted to take this opportunity to share with you a little bit about our plan for restarting schools in September. A plan that we submitted to the Ministry of Education last Wednesday evening for approval and a plan that we will be able to share publicly on August 26th. I hope you're having a fantastic summer and I hope you're remaining safe and healthy. Uh, we're looking forward to welcoming back students, uh, your children, to schools on September 10th to learning environments that are uh, safe and supportive and uh, environments that are encouraging the very best outcomes for students. But I also know that some of uh, our, our families, uh, just the thought of going back to, uh, to school can be anxiety inducing and immensely stressful. I know this well, I know this deeply, I, uh, my, my son is returning to school as well. But I also know that um, not being in school is a real hardship for a whole bunch of families. And uh, for some of those students, uh, school is the only safe haven for them and the only place where they can get supports for their social and emotional uh, needs. You will recall that the Ministry of Education came out with a five-stage framework uh, for the return to schools. And uh, you'll know that in, in June, schools returned uh, in stage three. And that stage was uh, mostly centered around density in schools. Uh, this September, schools will enter into stage two, which is a stage that is centered around cohorts or learning groups. And so for elementary students, those cohorts or learning groups can't be over 60 students. And the secondary, that uh, limit is 120 students. Uh, elementary schools, because of the way we're typically set up around classrooms and divisions and under 30 students in a classroom, uh, uh, parents won't see much and students won't see much change when they return to school. Uh, there will be all manner of uh, protocols around health and safety that uh, children will have to get used to, uh, but generally the system will, will remain the same. At secondary school, things are going to change quite a bit. The semestered system just won't work for keeping cohorts under 120 students and enable us, enabling us to move in and out of those stages as the uh, threat of COVID in, in the community um, uh, grows and shrinks. Uh, so Nanaimo Ladysmith Public Schools, like most other school districts in the province, will be moving to a quarterly system or a system that is sometimes called a Copernican system. That system will see students taking two classes at a time over 10 weeks, four times a year. So two classes, morning and afternoon, that'll, be, that'll run for 10 times a week and then uh, they will shift into the next two classes. And of course that will happen four times over the year so that students can get their full complement of eight courses over the year. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about health and safety. We recently received a million dollars from the Ministry of Education that will go directly into ensuring that our schools are safe. Uh, we will, most of that money will be uh, in hiring of caretakers to uh, clean our schools, but also uh, cleaning supplies, as well as um, we have purchased two reusable face masks for each staff member and each student in our school district. We've also purchased something called the Clorox Total 360 Electrostatic Sprayer uh, for each one of our schools, and these are... Um, hospital grade machines, the machines they use in hospitals that um, can clean our classrooms very quickly and can cover our, all of our surfaces um, in and around surfaces uh, with disinfectant uh, very quickly. In fact, uh, it only takes about four minutes. For teachers, school will return on September 8th and 9th. At that time, we'll, be, um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll help teachers learn about the new safety protocols along with uh, their principals and vice principals. Uh, schools will be open for students on the 10th and 11th. You can assume that won't be full time for students. They'll be doing the same thing. They'll be getting their timetables and learning about all the new uh, health and safety protocols at that time. Thank you in advance for your patience and understanding as we work towards the safest return to school possible. 
Um, there's been a couple hiccups and some things have changed over the last couple weeks. Uh, they might change again and school districts, our school district at least, is ready to, to pivot and, and make some changes accordingly. Um, stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.